Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to Forex trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers order entry for the MetaTrader 4 software with MB Trading. This presentation covers how to place stop orders with the MB Trading MetaTrader 4 software. First, we're going to click on New Order. We're going to choose our symbol and enter our volume. Again, on MB Trading's MetaTrader 4, 1.00 lot is equal to 10,000 in buying power. Under Type, we're going to choose Pending Order. Under Type drop-down again, we're going to choose either the Buy Stop or Sell Stop. A Buy Stop order is used when you want to enter the market with a long position higher than where it's currently trading. For example, the current price of the Euro USD is 137.668. We want to enter long at 140, so we would enter in a buy stop at 140. We would then enter in our take profit and stop loss. Once we have entered those fields in, we click on place. We will receive confirmation of that order. We will click on OK to remove the window from our chart. You can view the details of your stop order beneath your balances on the trade tab in the terminal window. It will give you the order entry number, the time, the type of order, size, symbol, the price where we're going to enter, stop loss take profit and the current price. Now if you wanted to modify this order you would simply right click and select on modify or delete order. If you wanted to change your entry price you would update it in this field. If you wanted to change your stop price you would update it in this field. For example if we changed our stop to 136 you can also modify your take profit in this field. When we have made any changes, we click on modify and we get a confirmation of the changes we have made. These changes will immediately reflect in your open order underneath your balances. If you wanted to delete this trade, you simply right click, select modify or delete order and click on delete and the pending order is deleted from your order entry trade window. Now if we wanted to short with a stop position we choose pending order and under type we select on sell stop. This means that we're shorting below the current market. So we're going to enter in a price below where the current market is trading and then we can set up our stop loss and our take profit. We click on place and we, re we receive immediate confirmation regarding our order. We click on OK to remove the window and again you can see information about your order populated underneath the balances. If you wanted to modify this order and add in a stop loss and take profit you again would right click, select modify or delete order, enter in your new stop loss price and your take profit. Or you can simply click on delete. And that will delete the trade out of your order entry window. Now, to set up a stop loss on an open position, what we're going to do is first go into a market position. Then we will right click on the order and select Modify or Delete Order. In this field, we are now allowed to enter in a stop loss. 
We enter our stop loss and click Modify. To close out an order, we right click and select Close Order. So it's important to understand the difference between setting up your stop orders as pending orders meaning entry, which you do using the pending order option, and setting up a stop loss, which you do by right-clicking on the trade and entering in the stop loss.